Bueno, pues estamos aquí en la ciudad de Presidio, Texas, en donde uno de los que va a hablar esta tarde, un conferencista por todos muy conocido, Travis Walton. Then let me try to speak in English. And the first, the first question is, which are the most valuable learning from your experience? Well, you know, uh, my experience left me with a lot of mysteries, a lot of unanswered questions about the aliens, but over time, uh, gradually realizing that they didn't mean me any harm and that they were actually trying to help me, uh, I think was very important to realize that. But. Uh, outside of that, probably uh, the most important things that I've learned have been things about human nature and about the government and the official um, story that, uh, that the media and society, you know, wants to have out there. Do you know other person that has had the same experience like you? I have, uh, over the years, uh, encountered many stories uh, of, of people reporting various things, and uh, some I think are true and some I think are not. Uh, so because not all of them are real, I, I really hesitate to um, uh, pass judgment on anyone else's case because I I really did not like uh, people passing judgment on my case when they hadn't investigated it. So until I actually investigate a case, I'm not going to give my opinion about it because it's just just an opinion without some investigation. You know, get the facts first. But you could distinguish the person who really have a real experience. Yes. And the person who don't have a real yeah, I, experience. I think I can. I got a pretty good feel for the difference. Yeah. Okay. Everybody knows the 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 picture uh, that uh, was uh, produced about your experience. Do you think that that picture uh, presents different things that uh, the real experience that you live? Well, the movie did change things uh, from what really happened quite a bit. And some of those are understandable when you're trying to tell a story that spans years in an hour and a half or, or so. But um, the part aboard the craft, I think, was changed too much. And that is why I am trying to get a remake of the movie to do another movie that tells it more like it really happened. Okay. And uh, which will, will be your uh, recommendation for those people that have already the same experience like you? Well, you know, a lot of people come to me and they say, what should I do? Should I do have hypnosis and find out if this really happened to me or should I leave it alone? And, I tell them, you know, that's really an individual decision. For some people, you know, it might relieve a lot of questions for them, and uh, you know, they might come more uh, come to have be at peace with with that question. But other people might find out that their friends and relatives' reaction might not be something that they can live with. So they need to take all those things into consideration. Uh, with their particular situation. Do you think that uh, uh, is uh, very close uh, contact with that with this, the terrestrial being or not? Oh, do you, do I think that open uh, yes, contact right. is is imminent? Um, I don't think people are ready for it yet, and I think the reason it's not open yet is because they're not ready, and probably just as soon as they are ready, that's when it'll happen. Um, I think these beings have a technology that if they wanted to be here without anyone seeing them or ever knowing that they were here, they could do that. The fact that they're allowing themselves to be seen just enough where you can't really prove it, but it's putting the idea out there in the people so that they have time to assimilate it and get used to the idea. Uh, I think that's part of the plan. Um, 
Will you live your experience again? I, I really wish that it had not happened at all. If I had it to do over again, I would not go close to that thing. Do you think that have a message from the people out there uh, That's possible. with your experience? Since I can't remember everything that happened in the five days, it's possible that I learned things that are important, but it, it hasn't come back to my memory yet. And um, you told me uh, before that the people that lived in your town at uh, that time uh, don't believe you. Yeah, it was uh, actually worse than nobody believing me. It was half the people believed and half the people didn't. Like uh, the town marshal, he didn't believe it, but his wife did. But his brother, who was also a sheriff's deputy, um, did believe it, but his wife didn't. So between two brothers and between their uh, husband and wife, uh, there was a division like that. And so there was quite a bit of uh, back and forth opinion in the town that made for more turmoil than, you know, than if the whole town said, ah, forget that, we don't have to even think about that. Uh, some authority uh, from the U.S. government has to talk with you about your experience? No. Uh, uh, official government contact from t to me at all. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been harassment of uh, uh, a couple of the other men that were out there with me. The crew boss and one of the crewmen has been harassed a lot. Travis, nice to uh, talk with you and I hope that in the future we will do it again. Thank you very much for your work. Good talking with you, Carlos. It's very interesting all the things that you present this afternoon to us. But one question more. Why me? Well, at the time it happened, the why me question was, well, I did something real unexpected. I got up close, uh, and it was an accident. The energy hit me, uh, and I was injured, uh, maybe uh, in cardiac arrest. So if the crew had been left to take me to the hospital, the hospital was an hour away and it would be too late. So they probably thought they had to take me aboard in order to revive me, otherwise I'd be dead. So that leads me to think that maybe they're not so bad as people think. And you think is the crew uh, didn't go away? because they are afraid, and if they stay with you, they probably live the same thing like you? Yeah, they may have just taken me aboard anyway, uh, or maybe they'd have done something to blank the minds of the crew so that they wouldn't remember it. Um, it's hard to say what would have happened if they had stayed put. Uh, I, I, they thought they would be hit too, but I don't think that would have happened. I don't think that energy was uh, on purpose. I think it was an accident. I hope so, to see you again in the future, Travis. Thank you very much. You are very kind. Nice to meet you, Carlos.